Whenever I go to the hardware store, all I can see is props and supplies I could use somewhere in my studio. So I decided to take a dedicated trip down to Lowe's and walk through the aisles and just see how many things I could find in a few minutes at Lowe's that you could possibly use as studio backdrops. And some of these you can use as studio flooring as well. So let's go down to Lowe's. So Monique here of Silverpaw Studio and founder of Pro Pet Photog. We just crisscrossed through Lowe's at random. And the first thing that I saw were these plastic outdoor carpets. These are great because they're washable and they're pretty good size and pretty expensive. You can hang this up on your backdrop stand or attach it to a bookshelf or a door frame. And if it's slightly out of focus, it would look fun and texture. Just be careful of the shine on some of these materials. Just next to that were big giant patio umbrellas. And this time of year, they're actually on clearance. So maybe they could be where you're at, but I've actually used big umbrellas as a backdrop for smaller dogs. You prop up the umbrella behind them and they stand under it and you get this really fun, colorful backdrop. Along the line of the uh, outdoor carpet is these washable rugs. They're very lightweight and thinner, like a lot of the backdrop material we already use in our studios. But what's great about this one is it's fully washable. Throw it in your washing machine. So I don't know how big these get. I've seen Ruggable brand online for pretty good sized, but you can just go down to your hardware store and buy these rugs too. Again, this would be awesome as a colorful backdrop, maybe just a little bit out of focus as something different for your studio. Classic, classic uh, is a curtain, especially because we, if we only photograph dogs or dogs with their people sitting down, we don't need a 10 foot tall curtain, but there's all kinds of curtains in different colors and materials and textures, just a huge, huge range of curtains. So the next time you're thinking of a color theme or a particular, theme for any project you're working on, you might be able just to go down and find a curtain at your hardware store. Around that same aisle is roll up shades. And a lot of people use these outside on their patios, but there's some really cool ones that are kind of reeds and bamboos. You can get more plastic ones that are super sturdy and washable. And just again, hang these on your backdrop stand in your studio. You could even hang them outside off of a fence if you're doing natural light portraits. Actually, a lot of these you can hang off a fence. You can clip them to all kinds of things. Just get yourself a set of clamps. Uh, I love these because of the really organic natural look. Again, though, you have to be careful. Some of these have more of a shine than others. So if you're okay with setting up your lights just right where there's no hot spot or you know how to edit, keep that in mind with any of these things you find at the hardware store. Over in the flooring section, you can get these whole boxes of sections of click in like laminate wood looking flooring. And I know for us photographers, we often wonder what to use with the flooring in our studio. You can buy these, but why not make yourself a section? I know sometimes there's even these leftover from your own house build and remodels. So you might be able to find just the right shade of flooring that you're looking for and very sturdy. It's not going to scratch at your hardware store. Not only can you use it as a floor, you could prop it up and use it as a backdrop, a wooden backdrop. That would be super cool. In the door aisle, you can find unfinished hollow core doors that do not have the hole cut for the handle. So they're just basically a panel of wood. You could hinge two of these together if you had the space, but if you might have an extra door hanging out in your garage and you don't have to go down to Lowe's, but you can paint both sides or somehow finish both sides of that. If you mostly do small animals, a hollow core door might work for you. Okay, we love this one. It's the paneling. If you think about paneling, I think of the 1970s with the fake wood panel with the dark brown and it looked kind of hokey, but that would work. You just have to be careful of the shine again. We found all kinds of cool looks from a whitewashed to a brick and the brick didn't have any shine to it. Ah, oh, and my sister was with me filming. Thanks, Brie she suggested get the brick one and paint it yellow 
for a Wizard of Oz theme. Oh yeah, you're welcome for that extra little nugget. So all these kind of panels are so cool. And one of the things I love about getting like a large piece of wood or that hollow core door is things like wallpaper. So you could just put removable wallpaper or paint on any of these surfaces and you can have two sides. You can get that door, put two doors together, a big piece of plywood on a stand or attach it to a wall, however you want to use a big piece of wood and put wallpaper on it. Or you could put wallpaper on one side and one of those uh, fake wood panelings or the brick paneling on the other. I've thought about making something like that in my studio where I have a big wall on wheels and you rotate it around to the other side. Yeah. And the last one is drop cloths, pieces of canvas. And the problem with finding this at Lowe's is they often have a seam. So if you're painting something on there that's extra busy, you might be able to get away with something with a seam. When I painted my backdrop here in the studio, I did end up buying it online because I really wanted something with zero seam. But just you can pull those out of the bags and see where the seam is. And if you have a small set, you might be able to make two or three different small backdrops out of canvas drop cloths. So those are actually 10 things we saw just in a quick, quick trip through Lowe's. And I know there's more. If you have other ideas, I'd love to hear them. Type it, type it in the comments. I have so many things I have DIY wide around this studio that I'm gonna make a whole video on that. So when that publishes, be sure to watch it. I'll have it here on the screen at the end. But also, if you really want to make your own custom hand-painted backdrop with a canvas and just regular house paint, I made an entire video for you. It's that backdrop back there, and I'm going to stick that right here for you. I hope this video gave you tons of ideas for your studio. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, I wish you many woofs, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S's.